I'm Pete Fucinaro. I teach saxophone, beginning flute, and beginning clarinet at REW Music. The best thing about teaching music is seeing students come back week after week excited about their instruments and watching them improve at an extremely quick rate. Music is something that I love, and I love passing it on to students every week and getting them excited about playing music and learning new music. I make lessons fun by figuring out what the students really enjoy. Let's say they enjoy uh, a new movie that just came out or a certain superhero. I enjoy trying to find the music to the theme songs to the movies or to their favorite video game and getting them to learn that. That, as I've found, is a great way to get students coming back week after week, excited to learn new music. I fell in love with the saxophone when I realized how versatile the instrument was. Hearing it in a jazz setting and then going into the car and hearing it on like a pop radio station and then hearing it in a classical setting, it really blew my mind how many different ways this instrument could be played. Something that really drew me towards the saxophone was a lot of my favorite songs growing up had saxophone solos in them. And so I started listening to those and it just pulled me towards the instrument. In my lessons, I like to use different musical styles, especially jazz, as that is what I play the most of and have studied jazz for a long time. But also I enjoy using classical to build technique build endurance. I like to have students transcribe jazz music or even music like rock and roll or even something like a Bach cello suite because there's so many different things you can get from each style of music and it's important to be able to play all these different types of music. <laughs> In the KMEA etude, it's really important to start this etude slow. If you start playing it really fast right out of the gate, you're going to start making mistake after mistake and that's just going to creep its way into your playing and they're going to be ingrained in that etude until you go back and iron it out and that's going to take more than double the time to fix. So it's important to start it off slow, slower than you even think. It's also important to use a light tongue when playing this etude. If you use a heavy tongue, you're going to start falling behind and it's not going to sound too musical. It's going to feel really heavy. And so using a light tongue is going to help you get through this etude, and especially the parts where it is uh, continuously tonguing, such as the that part. <laughs> 